So the first step really is to create layers where we can deposit specific types of artwork in our document and we can then work more efficiently. So I'm going to take the layers panel and just drag it out here and we can see that in isolation. And every new Illustrator document you create, regardless of whether it's web, for screen or for print, it will create one layer in the layers panel called layer one and it will color code it light blue. You can't delete the last and only layer in the layers panel. There always has to be something there but we definitely want to change the name of the layer and potentially the color of the layer as well. So I'm going to hover my cursor just to the right hand side of the current layer name. And if I double left click in that region, it will allow me to get to layer options where I can change everything that I need. If I did want to just change the layer name, you could hover over and double left click on the current name, but we need to do more than that. So I'm going to double left click just here. That will take us to uh, layer options. Now for this very bottom layer, I'm going to call this background, but I'm going to abbreviate it to BKG. If at all possible, it's handy to try and create a layer color that's going to contrast from the color of the artwork that's going to live in that layer or any layer inside of Illustrator. And that will make it easier to click on and see anchor points and segments and those kind of things if the color of those elements contrasts from the actual color of the artwork. Now, in our case, I'm going to go right down to the bottom of this list and choose yellow. And then I'm going to click OK. I'm then going to hover my cursor over the create new layer icon. So next we'll add a new layer. If I left click on the plus button in there, which is to add a new layer, it will do exactly that. But it will just give it usually for the second layer of a document a, a light red color and it will always name it layer two. So you can again use the same technique and double left click. Uh, in this case, we're going to call this artwork. Um, but we're going to change the layer color in here to brick red. And then click OK. Now, if you want to create your layers quicker, then you can hover your cursor over the same icon to create a new layer, but hold down the Alt or the Option key on the Mac and Alt and left click on there. And it takes you straight to the dialog box where you can name and color code. So for this one, it's going to be called copy. So that's where we're going to put our text. And any layer that contains text, I would suggest that light blue is the best color to pick, mainly because if you have any overset text or any hidden text in your text frames, the icon of a plus that's shown in the lower right corner of the text frame is set to be light red and it will contrast well against light blue. And it's just that reason alone. And then I'll click OK.